In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a custom counter in DaVinci Resolve using expressions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, have a look. So what we have here today are two videos that we're going to use to demonstrate two slightly different techniques. So for now, let's just go ahead and take our first video right here straight to the Fusion page. Here, let's go ahead and uh, bring in a text node connected to media in one. And then in the text node, let's go ahead and write our text. And once that is done, let's also bring up the size a little bit. And then the last thing we're going to do here is just to move our entire text here a little bit over to the left of the video. Now, let's go ahead and make a copy of this text node and then simply paste it. And then in this new text node, let's go ahead and first of all, bring it down a little bit from the text that we have above so that it's now sitting right underneath the original text. We're also going to remove the text as well uh, because we're going to replace it with numbers later on. OK, so now let's come to the top of the inspector panel, right click and then in the menu, let's go ahead and select edit controls. A new window is now going to pop up. And what this is allowing us to do is to create a brand new setting, which is then going to drive the number counter. So the first thing we're going to do here is to change the name to something that's going to make sense to us. And then we're going to select the tab which we want this to appear on. We're going to select text tab. And then we're also going to select uh, slider control, which is going to be great for our numbers. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And you guys will see that at the bottom of the text tab, we now have a brand new setting. So for now, what we're going to do is to come to the text box and create a simple expression. So let's go ahead and right click the text box in the menu, select expression. And then in the expression box, what we're going to do now is just to link it to the new setting that we have below. And if you hover over this new setting, you can see the name that we need to use in order to link it. So let's go ahead and just, just type this name in the expression box. And now you're going to see the number zero appear on the screen. So the first thing we're going to do right now is to come to the 25th frame, which is where we want the number to start. So let's write our starting number, uh, which is 499,000 in the new setting. And let's also make sure that we keyframe. Now let's move to the 110th frame, which is where we want this to end, write our ending number, and then let's also make sure that we keyframe as well. So once this is done, guys, if we have a look at right now, we see that number counter is working somewhat. Uh, there is definitely still a lot of finessing that we have to do. Uh, we have to get rid of the decimals. We also have to turn this into a format that we want it to look like. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at how to do that next. OK, so let's come to the expression box and then we're going to cut this text here, not get rid of it because we're going to recycle it later on. So let's cut it and then we're going to do some concatenation. So let's put down double quotation mark, include the dollar sign. Then we're going to write down two periods and then we're going to use the expression string sub. So let's paste our text and then we're going to write one and three. So now let me explain how this works, guys. So in order to concatenate characters, we have to use two periods in between characters. And in cases where we don't have an expression, we have to use a double quotation mark to include any character that we want to bring into the concatenation. Now, in terms of the expression string sub, what that does is to uh, help us extract numbers uh, from the setting that we have below, but only from uh, the first and third digit. OK, so having said that, let's just hit enter right now. And you guys can see that this is turning out exactly how we want it to look. So now let's just bring in the rest of it. So we're going to write down uh, two periods. And then we're going to put down the double quotation mark, but include a comma this time. And then we're going to write two periods and bring in the expression. And now instead of uh, one and three, we're going to put down four and six. So once all that is done, you guys will see that now this number is in the proper dollar format. Now let's move the number a little bit over to the left. And if we play this right now, you guys can see that the counter itself is working properly and all there is left to do is animation. So let's jump back to the first keyframe and then we're going to move 
four frames prior and then let's bring the end of right on setting all the way down to zero and then let's also make sure uh, that we keyframe and now let's uh, move eight frames after and then let's bring the end of right on all the way back up to one uh, let's also keyframe now let's come to the shading tab and we're going to do a very similar thing with the opacity setting uh, we're going to start out with a zero and then we're going to end with one let's come to the ending number and we're going to do a very similar thing for both write on as well as the opacity setting so let's move four frames prior and then for the write on setting we're going to keyframe not make any changes just keyframe and then we're going to move eight frames after and then we're going to uh, keyframe but by bringing the start of write on all the way up to one Okay, so now let's come to opacity. We're gonna have opacity uh, end at zero at this point. So let's make sure that uh, we also keyframe. And then let's come to uh, eight frames prior and then bring opacity all the way back to one. So let's take this now back to the edit page and let this render. And uh, guys, this is it for our first example. We have the number counter uh, set up in the proper dollar format. All right, so moving on to our second example here, let's take our second video straight to the Fusion page. And we're going to do something slightly different, but the basic setup is very much the same. So we're going to write our text, bring up the size, then move it a little bit over to the right. And then uh, let's also make a copy of it and paste it. And then uh, in the new text node, let's get rid of the text. Then let's set up a brand new setting by going to edit controls and then give it a, a brand new name first of all make sure that it also stays on the text tab uh, let's change it to slider control hit ok then let's uh, also for the time being create a simple expression in the text box that will link to uh, this new setting and once that is done guys uh, what we are going to do now is to come to frame 305 uh, which is where we want uh, the starting number to begin we're going to keyframe the new setting and then type in the starting number which is year 2045 now let's come to frame 390 which is where we want it to end we're going to write our ending number uh, which is year 2095 and let's also make sure that we keyframe so if we have a look at it right now, guys, we can see that we still have a similar problem that we had before, which is the decimals. But the way we're going to deal with it uh, is going to be a little bit different in this situation. So let me introduce you to a new expression called math floor. What that's going to do is to round the number to the closest integer that is less than or equal to our number here. And we also have another expression called math steel, which is going to do the opposite. So we're going to look at both examples. Uh, but for the time being, we're going to start with math floor. So let's uh, come to the expression box and cut our text, not get rid of, just cut it. And then we're going to write our uh, expression there, which is math uh, dot floor. Then let's paste our text. And guys, if we look at it now, uh, we can see that uh, we have effectively gotten rid of the decimals and uh, it looks pretty good. And if we change it to math seal instead, we uh, can also get rid of the decimals. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's something that you guys have to experiment in order to see which one works best for you. In some cases, the difference may not be as obvious like here, but in some cases it could be. So it all comes down to your particular scenario. Uh, for the time being, we are going to uh, use uh, math floor. So I'm going to change it back to math floor and uh, let's move our number a little bit over to the left. And all there is left to do right now is animation. So let's move our playhead four frames prior. We're going to the right on setting keyframe. Then let's move eight frames after. Let's keyframe right on setting once again. Then let's go back to the previous one. We're going to bring the end of right on all the way down to zero. Now let's come to the ending number. And then once again, move four frames prior. Then let's keyframe right on. Then let's move eight frames after keyframe right on. But by bringing the start of right on all the way up to one. Now we're just going to come to the starting number, do a similar thing for uh, the opacity setting. And then let's also come to the ending number, do a similar thing for the opacity setting as well. So once all that is done, guys, this is pretty much it.
Now let's take it back to the edit page, let the effect render, and uh, we now have another animated counter. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helps guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you have fun learning expressions. And as always, I will see you next time.